Simple Interest, Part 1. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is Part 1 on the lecture on Simple Interest. Now, as the name says, it's super simple. It just revolves around one formula and you can only go wrong if you interpret the data incorrectly. Let's start with the basics. All right, now to calculate the simple interest, there's a very simple formula. Now, SI is equal to PTR upon 100. This is the only formula that you need to memorize. Now, your simple interest is noted by SI, your principal by P, time by T, and rate by R. All right, now to understand these three terms, let us consider a scenario. Suppose you go to a bank and you make an account with them, right? The bank manager says that he will give you 10% interest on your savings bank account. You say yes, you open an account and you deposit 100 rupees. Now, at the end of the year, when you come to take back your money, how do they know how much money to give you? They use this formula. All right. Now, what is principal? Principal is the amount of money that you deposit. Right. So here you deposit 100 rupees. Right. So your P is 100 rupees. Now, what is time? This is the part where most students go wrong. Time is always denoted in years, not in months, not in days. So now you've put it for one year. So your T will not be 12 months, not be 365 days. It will be one year, right? So T is equal to one and rate the bank manager promised you 10%, right? So now if you simply plug in these values, right? So SI, your simple interest, let's write it here. SI will be PTR upon 100, P 100. T is one year, rate is 10 divided by 100. So 100, 100 gets cancelled. So SI is 10 rupees. So now you deposited 100 rupees and the simple interest that the bank is giving you is 10 rupees. So altogether, when you go after one year, you will get 100% 110 rupees. Simple, right? All right, now before we start solving our first sum, just a simple equation. New money is equal to old money plus simple interest. Now if you relate it with the previous example, we deposited 100 rupees. We got a simple interest of 10 rupees from the bank and hence the new money is 110. So what you deposit is your old money what you get is your new money and that is because of your simple interest. All right, let's start with the first problem. Problem one, find the simple interest on rupees 68,000 at 16 two by three percent per annum for nine months. All right, now for the first sum, they've said that your principal amount is 68,000, your rate is 16 two by three percent and your time is nine months. Now let us rewrite this in the form that we like, right? now. Your principal amount seems fine, it's in rupees. Your rate is a little weird. Now this is called a mixed fraction. Now for those of you who don't know mixed fractions, what mixed fractions are, this is it. Now usually you see fractions as X by Y. A mixed fraction comes of the form A, B by C. Now this might look terrifying, but it's nothing but X by Y. But how do you get it to this form is, you multiply the big number into the denominator and add it with the numerator. So this will be, AC plus B upon C. So now, if we need to calculate this back into this, what we do is, we multiply 16 into 3, that is 48. 48 plus 2 is 50. So 50 divided by the same denominator, 50 by 3 percent, right? Now, T is in months. We don't like that. We want it in years. Now, to calculate this, we need to divide it by 12, right? So now, 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. So three by four years. Now we could write it as 0.75, but we don't want that. We like fractions so that it can cancel out. You see the connection right here, three and three. All right, now to find the simple interest, we all know the formula, SI is equal to P, T, R divided by 100. Now just plug in the values. P is 68,000. T, time is three by four years or nine months. And R is 50 by three divided by 100, right? Now, 3 and 3 gets cancelled. 4, uh, 2 twos are 4, 2, 34,000, right? Now, 2 ones are, this will further get cancelled down to 1, 17,000, right? Now, you've got 1 zero year, 1 zero year, 1 zero year, 1 zero year. So, technically it comes down to 170 into 50. Now, this will be 50, uh, 8,500. So this is your simple interest. Simple, right? Yeah. Let's go on to the second problem. Problem two. 
A sum of rupees 800 amounts to rupees 920 in three years at simple interest. If the interest rate is increased by 3%, it would amount to how much? All right, now to understand the second problem related with the first example, right? Now, you went to the bank, right? And you gave them 800 rupees. You came after three years and then the bank gives you 920 rupees, right? Now, what the problem is asking you is this. You went to bank A and they give you some X percentage of money. You put in your 800 rupees and you came after three years and they gave you 920 rupees. The problem statement asks you that at the time when you paid the money to the bank, bank A, right? You paid 800 rupees. What if there was another bank that was giving you X plus 3%? If you would have put it in bank B, then what would be the money you would get if you went after three years to bank B? That is the problem statement. Now, to know what is X plus 3%, you need to know X percent. So first we'll find X, we'll add three to that and then compute the new simple interest and that will be your answer. So now we we'll start with this. Now here you can use a formula old, old money plus simple interest is equal to new money. Right? Now your new money here is 920 rupees, old money is 800 and SI we need to find. So now simple interest is equal to new money minus old money. So NM minus OM, new money is 920 rupees, old money is 800. So this is 120, but this is for three years, for three years, right? So now you know that your SI is 120 for three years. Okay, now we'll just rewrite that. So we know SI is 120, time period is three years. R is still X, X percent. We don't know this, but we already have the principal amount. The principal amount is the original money, your old money. That's 800 rupees. Now, PTR upon 100. SI is equal to PTR upon 100. SI we know, T we know, P we know, 100 is the number. Only R we don't know. So keep R on the left hand side. So R is equal to 100 into SI divided by P into T. So now 100, what is the simple interest? Simple interest is 120 divided by P is 800 into time is 3. So 3 ones are, 3 forties are, 40 ones are, 40 twenties are, cut, cut, this will be 5. So rate of interest is 5%. All right. Now this is your X percent. Right? Now, just erasing this a little bit, you can pause the video and see the calculations later on. All right, now we know that your bank A that gave you X percent is now actually 5%. Now they are saying if bank B would have given you X plus 3%, that is 5 plus 3 is equal to 8%, what would be the sum now? What would be the simple interest plus principal? What would be your new money? So now let's find the simple interest. All right. Now this simple interest was for bank A. So our new simple interest will be SI, right? PTR upon 100. Right now, PTR, if you take P is 800, time is again three years. The rate is now not 5%. With 5%, if I calculate, I'll get 120. Now it is 8%. Right? Divided by 100. Simple. Now, cancel, 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 cancel. 8, 8 are 64. So, 64 into 3. That will give you 192. 192 rupees. Now, this is your new simple interest. See the difference. 120, 192. So, your new money now. New money will be equal to old money that is 800 plus SI. So it is 800 plus 192. So the new money had you put it in bank B would be 992 rupees. This is your answer. Let's move on to problem number three. Problem three. A certain sum of money amounts to rupees 1008 in two years and to rupees 1164 in three and a half years. Find the sum and rate of interest. All right, now for your third problem, you use the information that is given to you. Now, what do they say? They say that your principal amount is there, 
after two years it becomes 1008 and after 3.5 years it would have become 1164 now use this information that they've given you all right now we know that this money can only jump from here to here based on the simple interest and from here to here based on the simple interest now at the end of two years it was 1008 right and after 1.5 years that is 2 plus 1.5 that's 3.5 so from this mark to this mark 1.5 years is passed so if you add the simple interest for 1.5 years you will reach 1164 correct now if you find the difference from here 1164 you will end up getting 156 right 156 rupees was added to go from here to here that is a simple interest for 3.5 minus 2 1.5 years so this we know is the simple interest for 1.5 years now but simple interest always find it for one year that makes the calculation very simple so now we know that for 1.5 years or we like to write it as 3 by 2 in fractions right 3 by 2 is 1.5 for 3 point 3 by 2 it is 156 so for one year how much will it be this is x so now if you cross multiply x into 3 by 2 is equal to 1 into 156 take this on that side it will invert so 156 into 2 by 3 right 3 ones are 3 fives are 15 3 twos are 6 so 52 into 2 is 104 now this is the simple interest si for one year this is the main step now you know that your si is now 104 um yeah si is 104 104 piece now we know that your principal amount is jumped from year to year based on the simple interest that is paid for two years now one year it is 104 right for one year for two years it will be 208 just a double of this that is for two years now use the concept of old money and new money so new money new money is equal to old money plus si right or old money is equal to new money minus si now your new money is 1008 right 1008 minus si for two years right after two years it become 108 1008 so you minus 208 and you will get your old money so old money that is your principal amount is actually 800 rupees so p is 800 rupees now you know your principal so that was one thing so now we've got our principal amount as 800 rupees now the only thing left to find is r how much percentage right let's keep it as x percent now we simply choose any one of these cases you, you can take t as 2 and take this or you can take 3.5 and take this now um, we know that si is equal to uh, ptr upon 100 now let's take this scenario right what was the simple interest for two years it was 208 right p was 800 time was two years rate is we don't know so we just give us x percent upon 100 right so now x percent is equal to 208 into 100 bring these two down so 800 into 2 right now um ones are eights are two ones are two one zero fours are right then divide this eight ones are this will become 30 so it's just 13 percent so your rate of interest is 13 so p principal amount is 800 rupees and your rate of interest is equal to 13 percent simple right all right so this was part one on lecture on simple interest in my second video i'll solve many more tougher problems if you found this video helpful to grasp the concept of simple interest do like it subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about it on facebook thank you make sure you subscribe to my channel to get part two of simple interest that will have many more tougher problems until then spread the knowledge